Yeah, I mean, I was I was wondering in this position, you know, just pushing through with B5. I mean, did you just not think that this was enough to to go for? No, I I, I mean, I spent a lot of time here, so that's obviously what I was considering, yeah. but I, I <coughs> it didn't seem to to work very well for me. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So I mean, um, when I'm allowing Bishop D7, I'm basically, uh, you know. Uh, it's half of a draw, for instance. Mm. After that, the position is, is very dry and very equal. Uh, but I have, didn't see much. Fair enough. Okay, let's throw it open to questions. So, as usual, if you want to say who you are and who you're working for, and uh, yeah, well, let's get a question here straight away. Anatole Wittuch, The Standard, Austria. Uh, a question to Mr. Carlson. Could you uh, maybe say some words about uh, this mysterious rook move, uh, rook e1, as it was uh, labeled by some? Uh, what was the idea of that and why you played it? Well, I mean, the basic idea is that if I make a move with, uh, let's say I make a move with the, with the queen, then he may gain a tempo with bishop h3 and then queen to d7. That was the basic, basic thought, but mainly it was about it was about B five or not B five at, at this point. I think um, other moves are most likely not going to uh, make much of a difference. Okay, next question. Yeah, please. Uh, Jorun from uh, NRK to Fabiano. A uh, video was p published uh, earlier today showing your uh, openings. Uh, do you know about it and uh, what do you think about it? Yeah, I'd really rather not comment on this, actually. That's fair enough. <laughs> I mean, Magnus, do you have any comments or any thoughts on that at all? Um, well, I'll, uh, I'll have a look at the video. <laughs> <laughs> Make up my my mind, but uh, uh, yeah, I'll um, we'll, we'll see then. Okay, we should probably move on from that one. Um, next question, please. Oh, well, that, that's that seems to be the big one on the agenda. No one else wants to ask any more questions. Mike. MikeLineChess.com. Uh, Magnus, I just want to clarify what you said. You said um, I will have a look at the video. Um, I just want to make sure that we're understanding you correctly, that you've not seen the video. Is that correct? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I can truthfully say that I haven't seen the video, uh, but I'm aware of its, uh, its existence. Uh, or, or its... I don't think it is anymore. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we should just just to explain what this is. As as I understand it, there was a video posted from the St. Louis Chess Club. I hope this doesn't embarrass you too much, Fabiano. Where um, a certain amount of preparation was filmed, and I think it was a little bit indiscreet. But the post has since been taken down. That's just to fill you all in on what's that. So, any more questions? Yeah. Question. Come on then, at the back there. Can we get a mic to you, please? Hang on, a mic is on its way. Thank you. So many persons, nobody wants to ask questions. Ian Wilkinson, um, President, Jamaica Chess Federation. Gladiators, round four, heading into round five. Um, Firstly, quickly to, to Fabiano, how do you feel going into round five? Will we get something other than E4 now? Um, yeah, <laughs> for a change. I think Magnus is getting a little comfortable. Perhaps we need a, a shot to the gut, to the solar plexus, perhaps. <laughs> Just that first question. And also to Magnus, um, he, they, 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 you seem to be much more comfortable after... That's just my impression of you after this game, sitting in your chair, 
relaxing, um, and so on and so forth. By the way, I was going to tell you not to answer that question about the video, but I, since I'm not your lawyer, I couldn't say it. But um, I think the further the match goes, you seem to be more comfortable. Do you feel more comfortable? Or is it Fabiano you think should be more comfortable? Well, I'll tell you what, I can't even remember your first question. <laughs> but, but it was brilliant. No more E4 from Fabio. Oh, that's right, okay. Uh, well, I don't know. It's, it's probably going to be another no comment, I guess, Fabi. Any, anything to say on that? Yeah, I guess we'll see next game. We'll guess. <laughs> um, I, I can't remember. What was the question? Yeah, about remember? being comfortable. No, I think uh, this particular game is not the one that gets your, uh, your, gets your heart racing. So... I, I think that's uh, the main reason that there is no particular reason to be agitated after this game, and that's why we appear to be. But, but, <laughs> but okay, this this is the the nature of match chess, of course, that so one has to see the the thing as a whole. Um, any more questions? We got some questions over here from journalists. Would be really good. <laughs> Hands go down. Yeah, okay, this gentleman here, if we get a mic up there, please. So sorry. Hello, I'm Fabio from Sicily, chess player. I, I would like to ask first to Magnus if there is any specific reasoning behind the choice of the English defense, and to Fabiano if um, there was a preparation because he moved uh, his uh, opening moves uh, really quickly. Well, I mean, first of all, I think you should have a little more respect towards the English opening. It's, uh, I, play, I play it as well. Huh? It's not the most uh, uh, offensive opening, but it's still not a defense, uh, necessarily. <laughs> it was not an attack. I like English opening a lot. So. Uh, but no, there was no special uh, significance. Um, I mean, I am quite aware that we are currently in uh, England, part of the United Kingdom, <laughs> and uh, the country that this particular opening is named after. Uh, but I feel like that, that joke is a bit used. So. Yeah. <laughs> any, any chess reasoning behind it? Any chess reasoning? I think we... <laughs> well, I mean, there must have been, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you want to comment on any of that, Fabian. I mean, we. Yeah, I mean, I've played this line before, and I even had a game up to B4 against Wesley, so. Yeah. Um, probably not the most significant game. It was a blitz game, and I've long forgotten about it, but. Uh, but yeah, I guess we were both somewhat familiar with the line. Okay. Okay, I've got to give a quick question, a quick answer to you. Um, it's not a question, it's a request. Round five, blood, sweat, and tears. No more draws. Time to shine, and let's go for it. Thanks very much. Gambits, gambits. Okay, can we have a question, please? That would be really nice, I'm sorry. And please, name Trost, and... Trostens chess base. Thank you. Germany. Um, I would like to know about the, uh, the match situation. What is different to a round robin with black and white? Because we had the idea that black to play black is an advantage here. Magnus, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that it's an advantage. I think that's uh, that's a very that's a rash conclusion to make on a very limited sample size. Um, but it's true that black has been comfortable um, so far. But I, I think there will be. There will be sterner tests in, in the game, game to come. Yeah, I don't know if you want to add anything to that. Yeah, no, I, it's a long match and a lot will happen. Yeah. And I don't think that we'll go to the end of the match with Black uh, being completely equal in every game. But so far, Black has been quite comfortable. Okay, I think we'll have one final question, please. And if there's no final question, yeah, please. Thank you. Anna Kaleva, Russian newspaper. And um, uh, what are your plans for the rest day? Traditional questions. Yeah. Fabiana, do you want to take that first? Sorry. Yeah, I'll probably do some sports. Um, I mean, we've been trying to, to get some physical activity in on the rest day. 
So, so I'll probably continue. Great, Max. Uh, I don't know. Probably prepare for for the next game. I mean, try to to uh, to regain some energy after these grueling games that we've been having. There you go. So we have a rest day tomorrow, and round five, game five, will be on. Thursday. Yeah, I've got that right. Okay, so thank you very much to uh, Fabian and Max.